Okay, we're now ready to lay out our images within our new document. So what we'll do is we'll select our first picture. So double click in the image bin, go Control or Option A just to select, Control or Option C to copy. Double click back onto our new document, Control V and that'll just paste it into place. Now we can just move that so it lines up with our grid lines. And then go back to the next image that we want. Again, Control Option A, Control Option C to copy. Back to our new document and Control V or Option V just to paste it into place. And then we can just move our final image into place. So if we go up to View and Grid, and we'll also just get rid of those rules as well. So we've now got our three images and they're all perfectly in place. So now the layout's taking shape, we can actually increase our canvas size to our final size, which is the A3. So if we go up to Image, Resize and Canvas Size, and we want to take the width to 420 millimeters and our height to 297. Again, we want our anchor point to be center and our canvas extension color to be black. Now all we do is click OK. So we now have our A3 triptych. So it's just a case of applying a few finishing touches just to finish the image off. We're going to apply layer styles. Now in Photoshop CS, this is very easy. We just double click and we get our layer style options. In Photoshop Elements, it's again still very easy, but you actually have to apply a layer style you don't want and then go in and edit it so it becomes exactly what you need. If we go to your effects palette, we'll select layer styles and we'll just pick the very first one, which is inner ridge, and we'll drag and drop that onto the first image in our triptych. Now at the moment you see it puts um, a rather nasty beveled edge around. If I click onto that layer, making sure it's selected, then take a look in my layer palette, I can actually see on the layer there's a little FX symbol and this just denotes that there is a layer style attached. So if I double click that it brings up the layer style options and the first thing I want to do is just switch off that bevel edge. Now at the bottom we see that we've got stroke so if we just tick that and we start to see a red border appear. It's got a size of 10 pixels which is exactly what we want. We want its opacity at 100 but at the moment it's red so if we just double click the swatch select white and then click OK. OK again and that will apply that nice white border to the image. And you need to repeat that for each of the images individually. So there, there we have our three images with the 10 mil border going with the 10 pixel border going around each one. Then if I want to add a final finishing touch I can just select the text tool, select a color then click and drag to draw a text box. Just enter in the text that I want, just highlight it, and then I can actually choose to get that dead center and adjust the size accordingly. Then if I want to change the color, just select the foreground color swatch. I'll select quite a light gray, click OK, and then commit, and that'll commit that text to the triptych image. The final step is obviously just to flatten down your picture so if we go over to our layer options, again, flatten image, then that picture is all ready to print out onto an A3 sheet of paper.